Hey everyone! Today I'm diving into something that's making waves in the military world, China's new 6th generation fighter jet, the White Emperor, or Baidi. Is it the real deal or just a strategic bluff? Let's break it down. So, China's Baidi fighter concept was unveiled at the 2024 Zhuhai Air Show. And let me tell you, it's got everyone talking. This jet boasts an impressive diamond-shaped stealth airframe, hypersonic missile capabilities, and the ability to operate in near space. It's developed by the Aviation Industry Corporation of China as part of their Nantianmen project. Sounds fancy, right? Now, the Baidi isn't just a pretty face. It's packed with advanced features like improved stealth technology, an elongated weapons bay for nuclear-tipped hypersonic missiles, and even directed energy systems. Plus, it's designed for near-space altitude operations. That's some next-level stuff. But here's the, that's the kicker. China flew this thing for the first time in late December 2024, alongside their fifth-generation J-20 fighter. This has raised eyebrows and a lot of questions. Is China ahead of the US in sixth-gen air warfare, or is this just a Cold War-style bluff to get the US to overspend? Let's talk strategy. Back in the day, Ronald Reagan used a similar tactic against the Soviet Union, pushing them to spend so much on defense that it crippled their economy. Some analysts think China might be playing the same game now. With the US already $36 trillion in debt, could this be a move to stretch America's defense budget even thinner? But wait, there's more. The Beatty's design features are no joke. It's got a tailless, diamond-shaped airframe and wings, side and upper air intakes, a dual bogey main undercarriage and split air brakes or flaperons. This thing is built for speed and stealth with a pointed rounded nose that slices through the air with minimal turbulence. And that dark multi-sectional cockpit canopy is likely designed to reduce reflective signatures, making it harder to detect. So what does this mean for the US and its next generation air dominance program? Um, the NGAD is under scrutiny, especially with massive price tags of around $300 million per plane. If Secretary of Defense Pete Hegseth decides to cancel NGAD, could China gain a significant advantage? In the end, whether the White Emperor is a real threat or just a bluff, it's clear that China's making bold moves in the aerospace industry. Only time will tell if this is a game changer or a high stakes poker play. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon for more deep dives into the latest military tech. See you next time.